you and Kojiro opted for staying at Shinagu Kazua, a mellow little rokuna located in the mountains of Kyoto for your honeymoon night. It wasn't too luxurious, nor insanely expensive, and had a down-home and cozy feeling making it the perfect place to celebrate your wedding night. Being married sure does carry an odd feeling. It's the end of something and the start of something new. I mean, of course you're now content to have kids, travel together so long as being demon slayers allows it, and sleep together in the same bed. Yet there's a feeling of relief, like you've both achieved something. We're married, my love. Yes, Ko, we are married. Is there something wrong with that? You asked your flaming husband as you continued to sort through your wedding gifts, which were just envelopes filled with money, really. No, he smiled sheepishly. I'm just happy that we're official. Well, that's good to hear. I'm happy that you're happy. And I'm never letting you go, he says. You catch himself staring at him and realize there's another feeling that comes with being a newly wed couple besides love lust your body hums in anticipation though a night of longing in the ruka's hot spring sounded like a perfect way to spend your honeymoon night and for your mind of the lewd thoughts that was wringing its snotty head <laughs> however neither you and kojo were making it easy on each other have i ever told you how beautiful you are my sweet flame Kojo asks, grabbing you by the waist and directing you to sit between his legs, ensnaring your senses and consuming you in nothing but his presence. You yelp as he pressed his lips against the soft flesh of your neck, the sensation no less erratic than the previous. You found yourself being aroused by his words as sweet nothings of my lovely wife, beautiful wife and eternal flame left his lips over and over again. The feeling was intoxicating. Everything about Kojiro was nothing but the past 18 hours of marriage and the past 10 or so of passion had confirmed something you'd always known of the man you loved. Kojiro was an incredible romantic through and through, and having you as his wife, his one and only true love for the rest of his life was quite possibly the biggest turn on the flame Hashira could ever imagine. Mana Conley and commented suited him perfectly. Every time you called him Sokujin Sama, which means husband, you could practically hear the shudder run down his spine as you saw the admiration and love shine through his golden gaze. It's no secret of how much you both won this. And if you hadn't been playing so hard to get, you would have run off with him and eloped a long time ago. But a relationship takes time, and here you are, in your honeymoon suite, celebrating a promise you both had made in your hearts many months ago. Only about a million times, Gota Shinsama, you answer with a sly smile, which then and landicated into a, ga a giggle once you saw his flustered yet erotic passion at the hor hornix. Soon Koji's eyes narrow and he growls a little possessive and moves to kiss you. Your mouth met and you kiss gently, pacing and easy until he deepens the kiss. His breathing slowed. He was so, so tempted to submerge you in his love. You excite me, Okia-san, which means wife, he says huskily, after pulling away and you giggle. Is that so? Is it because I'm wearing this yakata with flame patterns? You tease? No, maybe. Okay, yes, but it only adds more to your enchanted beauty. You've never been dyed by my colors, my love. He says proudly, you roll your eyes at that and don't think I'm starting yelling you umai and eating sweet potatoes with you, Ko. A busher's hearty laugh cut through the peaceful 
immense as Kojo chuckles, but instead of getting angry at him for being so loud and probably disturbing the neighbors, you'd found yourself laughing along with him, seeing him so happy. Truly, Kojo was so breathtakingly beautiful that you wondered how you've gotten married to such a wonderful man. All right, then. As long as I can still call you my wife, Rengoku Yin, wife of the mighty flame Hashira, and the future mother of ten children. Kojiro laughed at his quick kint. You immediately paled at that remark. What are ya? Crazy? No way in King Emma's hell am I having ten babies. With a blush, you reply, How about Rengoku? Ku Yin, Snow Hashira, wife of the arrogant Rengoku Kojo, and future mother of one child. Snow Hashira, are you really going to accept Okiyatama's offer? He asks. You shrug. I'm still thinking about it, yet I'm not entirely sure I want to. Perhaps I'm just stick to being a regular demon slayer, unless my husband wants me to. Kojo chuckles a, as a blush settles on his cheeks. He looked at an adorable schoolboy. Oh, so I'm that kind of husband. If you start bousting, I'm gonna leave you here. You glance. A juvious expression never left his face. Golden eyes dancing with undeniable mischief. But isn't how I wooed you in the first place, my love? Ko, you warned. He couldn't help but giggle as he pulled you closer to him. In a moment of seriousness, he still enjoyed teasing you. He can tell you were only joking and would never leave him. He could have you all to himself and not have to worry about anyone or anything taking you away from him. His lovely Okiana, his lovely beautiful snowflower, and his beloved wife, his eternal flame. Kojo wanted to scream it to the heavens. Let the gods know how happy he is to finally have you and call you his. I know this is rather selfish of me, but I wish to make love with you tonight. Would you please indulge me, my love? He whispers, and before you could get another word, he gently turned to your head with his free hand, making you face him before capturing your lips. Almost intently, you melt against him, your lips automatically parting penitently to his interrucing tongue. A moan escapes you as the warm and wet appendage explores your mouth. Bare, bizarrely, he tasted like apple and caramel, which made you sigh against his mouth. You both continue your tongue tango, basking in the taste and feel of each other's mouths, until both of you had a breakup of air heat was already building up in between you as Kojo glanced into your eyes with such affection and desire. May I? He mumbled before lifting you up slightly and further into his lap, gently getting you down again so you were completely straddling his lap and secured pressed against his already growing length. You moan slightly as you feel him. You're insistible today, Ko. What can I say? He grins, pulling your left hand toward his mouth and kisses each knuckle before continuing. I finally have the most beautifulest woman in my arms right now, and as my wife for the rest of my days. I've never been as happy as I am at this moment, he says. You don't ever remember your obi coming undone of your, or your yakuta being opened until you felt the coldness of the room lick your skin as it slid off your shoulders. And I'm very eager to see her in nothing but this wedding ring, he says, the unravel of clothes of your sashizi causing your breasts to brew out. You wouldn't really try to cover them, suddenly feeling shy, but he stopped you. None of that. You're beautiful, my love, he says, one of his hands cupping your, you know, gently squeezing and moving it around. Kojo then leaned down to kiss and lick a stripe against your neck before giving your flesh a little nip. You could do nothing to stop him feeling how much he was affecting you. He had been a passionate lover, 
But this was something different. This was raw and almost devilish. And every part of you craved his burning, mind-numbing touch. Ko, you moaned. And John, Kojo could barely contain himself. He could feel his erratic twitch, and any moment it would become too painful to bear. A gentle growl and snack its way into his speech. I want you. He leaned forwards, causing the skin-colored girl in his arms to fall back into a plushy futon beneath him. Are you sure? You ask, feeling nervous. You expected him to laugh, maybe to call you silly. Yet, this, his heated stare said anything but as Kojo pressed himself against the thin cotton fabric of your panties and you gasped upon feeling his hardness. Does that answer your question? He chuckled. You felt your lover, lower stomach, poo with arousing anxiety, feeling it twitch. You sigh before wrapping your arms around his neck pulling him a little closer to you as a silent gesture of contentment. Go. Hmm? Don't hold back.